is my first uh, attempt playing around with turning cycles. And uh, we'll see what this does. I am taking, I think it's 2000s per rev and 300 for you. 350 surface feet a minute, which uh, might be high, I don't know yet. I don't think they're turning blue, although I'm a bit colorblind, so. so we'll see. This is a really cheap, I think it's a Harbor Freight cutter. But they have a nice edge on them, so we'll see. So far, so good. I don't know, it's like the third pass. Uh, making a, a arbor to hold a ER20 collet holder so I can machine the back side of it and I want it to be concentric concentric I think that's the word I want because uh, it's gonna go on the turco I'm gonna make some ER ER20 uh, stubby collet holders to screw onto the nose of the uh, Turco. I love this M. Cole. Are you going to watch this? Here we go. Wait for it. Might be turning blue now. What do you think? I don't know. It's hard to tell. We'll see. So it's getting down to the profile. I'll come back in a bit. Now it should start doing the oh, focus. Now it should start doing the taper on this end, or roughing it out. So it should come out, and start again. And... It's not like the focus on something turning. I didn't know it actually did that. <laughs> Hopefully this is right. That's cool. Okay, now it's going to go all the way to here. And then it should come back and clean, start cleaning the back side. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, now it should come back and go in a little bit. Cool. So far so good. Alright, here we go again. Cool. Oh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Starting to look like that. Okay. 
go through these few cycles and just see. Then I make two finishing cuts that are 5,000s. Don't ask me why, I just was goofing around with it. That are 1,000s per round. If it does it right. I think it does one more, and then it should do two finishing passes. I think. This is, uh, for scale, that shaft is inch in diameter. I know it's probably kind of hard to see. Well, that's pretty smooth. Now after this cut, it should go back to the beginning and make a finish cut. If I did it right. Uh, this is also constant surface speed, but I don't, I have the spindle capped at uh, like at 900 RPM. I could go faster, I guess, but this seems to be working good. So, yeah. Oh, okay, and then it finishes that. Not that that really matters, that's an exiting thing. So now it's feeding in, and now this should be a profiling cut. Should be taking five off, or maybe I don't remember. I actually have the feed rate turned up, so it's actually cutting a little faster, but that's okay. makes another pass after this or not. Guess we could zoom in, huh? Yeah, okay. Then it makes a finishing cut after this. Ooh. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. I didn't bring my players over here. Oh, well, that looks pretty cool. So this is an ER20 cullet shape. Okay, I'm gonna go get a pliers. All right, pliers work. All right, now if all goes well, it should go back and do one final cut. Of five thousandths. That's cutting pretty good. For this purpose, for sure. I have to say, that's pretty neat. So, it's the Linux CNC. This is the profile right here. And then it's two commands that call that profile. The roughing one, which is what you saw at roughing, and then a finish cycle. Um, I have to goof around with it. I've, I've never used lathe.
turning cycles before, so it took me a few tries to get the G71 and G70 so it looked plausible. And I'm not using any cutter comp right now, so I mean for this purpose it's fine. The nose of that cutter is, is pretty sharp. It'll work for this purpose. So, cool beans. Alright, I'll show you when it's done. Alright, so this is what I'm trying for in this profile. So, hold on a second. My camera work is awesome. So this should go on here. Hey, that looks quite right. Cool. Beans. Alright, so there we go. Alright, talk to you guys later.